Whew, guys, his SSR came out December of 2017. He's one of these reward cards from the 19th World Tournament. Wow. Okay. All right, so wait. <laughs> so this guy's from December of 2017, that meaning that he came out during the Battle Road meta. Yeah, he comes out just a couple months after the Battle Road meta. All right, um, let's just see what he's doing. So his leader skill is int type 2 key and 50% to attack and defense. And a super attack, that being the Masenko, he gets 30% attack and defense for three turns. Obviously nice. No matter what meta you're in, uh, multi-turn attack and defensive um, buff is obviously nice. Um, and... His passive, that being breaking away from dependence. Uh, three key. Just, that's it. Three key. Guys, this is, there's a semicolon there. He just gets three key. Just baseline. And he gets 60% attack and defense when facing two or less enemies. I, well, now, granted, um, the first 10 stages of Battle Road, there are some fights where you can verse two enemies yes absolutely but the problem is that most of those fights had three or more enemies so this guy is just not starting out with a attack and defensive buff he's only gonna have key that's it he's not getting his attack and defensive buff until he supers in battle road um so he's not stunning not sealing not even lowering attack bare minimum um he will almost never start out with attack and defense above, um, depending on, of course, the battle or stage you're bringing him in. Of course, that being him going up against uh, versus extreme tech. Uh, so him not bringing anything to the table is pretty much making him a dead in the water unit. And uh, we're going to talk about his links as well as categories when we get to his post awakening. We'll talk about it when, he, when we're talking about his post EZA. So battle or meta, he sucks. Can we just universally agree he's straight ass cheeks? for the battle of meta okay yes beautiful all right class let's move on over to his post awakening all right buffed up leader skill um gets a buffed up super attack that can get more to his passive he comes out during the esbr meta all right and i would probably still argue that he is pretty much a dead in the water unit for the extreme super battle of meta let's see exactly what he's doing so his leader skill is now two key and 70 percent to stats not just two key and 50 percent to attack and defense it's buffed up to two key and 70 percent across the board to in type and his super attack that being the explosive blast used to be called masenko uh he now gets 30 percent attack and defense for six turns rather than three turns so it's much better and his passive that being self-realization you're gonna realize something in a second gohan three key 60 percent attack and defense as well as 60 percent attack and defense performing a super attack that is nice attack defense above from his pass to a super attack effect cannot hate on that and he also gets an additional 60 percent attack for three turns after receiving an attack and he gives android slash cell saga category allies 20 percent attack so um same problem comes out during the battle meta for his ssr unusable comes out during the uh, esbr meta still unusable all right so um he's not stunning not sealing not debuffing attack uh he's just supporting um first 10 stages of esbr are you using him going up against versus extreme tech hell no he's not debuff he's not debuffing the enemy in any specific way and he, if this guy takes one attack even with an item he's gonna explode he needs double items and even with double items the enemy supers him. Is he dead? That's, this is the point where you put up your hands and just say, I don't know. I don't know. All right. So uh, his his um, SSR and his post-awakening, nothing burgers. Just terrible for the metas. Just terrible. Just ash cheeks. Yes. Okay. Now we get to his post-EZA where he actually becomes something. He becomes a lot better. All right. So his leader skill is now in type 3 key and 100% of the stats. And his super attack, that being Explosive Blast Extreme, he now gets 50% attack and defense for 6 turns, so a lot better of a super attack effect, just better across the board. And his passive, he starts out with 3 key and 100% attack and defense at the start of turn, very nice, and he gets 100% attack and defense when performing a super attack, 
of course, nice. 100% attack and defense when performing a super attack and his passive to his super attack deck of him getting 50% attack and defense for six turns is obviously very good. So that's one plus. He also gets 100% attack for three turns when receiving an attack. And for, yeah, just for three turns when receiving an attack. And he gives Andrew Sass, Hillsaka, Category Allies, two key and 30% attack and defense. So it's something. It's support. We'll take it nonetheless. Support is good. Um, it just something good to have on the card right can't really hate on that so it's something that's the second good thing about him he also gets an additional three percent attack and defense per super class ally on the team not really much to you know go home about but that's just me. but hey we'll take it and he also gets a 50 percent that's that's 58 excuse me he gets a 58 percent chance to crit when facing two or few enemies okay and he seals the attack enemy super attack for two turns of facing three or more enemies. So it takes him from, let's see, comes out December 8th of 2017. Um, gets his EZA uh, June of 2024. Uh, guys, is that just about six years? No, seven years later. So almost seven years until he actually could do something in Bad Road. And Bad Road slash extreme sewer battle was not even the toughest content in the game anymore um so now he can finally work against uh enemies in <laughs> what the fuck bro and he guards when there's another bond of master and disciple category ally attack in the same turn so the good news is that bond of master and disciple has some pretty strong options um i'm very certain that a certain somebody named beast gohan is on this team so he does have that guy yes so with that being said uh what do we have for this gohan what is good about this guy the fact that he has a very easy guard restriction to bypass the fact that he is sealing for bad road even though it took over six plus years for him to get something that's useful for that specific off meta content now um, that being from ESBR and SBR. Uh, it is also nice that he is supporting. It's very nice that he gets an attack defense above from his passive to a super attack pick. And I would say arguably the strongest thing about this card is his super attack pick. 50% attack and defense for six turns is very, very strong. So that is about it for this guy. Um, and his link set, same warrior race, all in the family, the same lineage, Z fighters. Uh, gaze of respect shocking speed and shattering the limit and the good thing about this is that i'm pretty sure that uh mr um god has shocking speed correct he has shocking speed he has all in the family uh so they will be a-okay yeah because he has all in the family and shocking speed he doesn't have the same lineage if i remember correctly he does not not that it matters because they already have their key links with each other so um are there any other options you could throw right next to for the bond of master cyber team. let's just see what his best linking partners are uh so it's you oh man six key 50 percent attack and 40 percent defense let me tell you guys just before you're not putting this old ass free to play easy a easy a area not just easy a but easy a area gohan right next to him no absolutely not um these guys could still be ran but the problem is is that they are dodge or die so if they do not dodge they will get turned into a pack um you hell no you know, you know, no, uh, no, no, uh, when you get your easy A, sure, you're going to be pretty nasty after an easy A, but for right now, absolutely not, um, you, specific situations, I probably can see, um, he's, I don't know, that Goku's, is he solid, um, th these guys, yeah, oh, wow, I forgot about these guys, okay, yeah, yeah, you can do that. They can send slot one. He can send slot two. But he, he, they're not Andrasize Cell Saga characters, so that support would do nothing for them. Um, Andrasize Cell Saga characters, absolutely not not running him right next to this guy. Um, could you do it right next to mm, No. No, because I'm pretty sure you need a Super Saiyan or a Movie Heroes character for his dodge to proc. If I remember correctly. Um, you guys? But you want it. Well, he is an int character. But he's not Andrew Sass Cell Saga. Okay, whatever, whatever. That's <laughs> you're gonna throw him next to Beast Gohan to call it a day. <laughs> or next to this uh Gohan and uh Piccolo. But the only problem is once you get into Piccolo, they're not gonna really be sharing too many links, no. I'm pretty sure they're gonna have Gazer Respect still, I like to assume, or maybe they'll slash shock of speed, but we're not gonna get into that. 200 percent of disco that he's on. Uh so what 200 percent of the disco you throw him on? I will say no, no, uh 
Uh, no. Um, no. It's just no. Yeah. Not looking all the crazies for 200% leader skills. I mean, you could run these. Could, could you run these guys as floaters? I. Uh, no, I don't care what people say about this guy. Just no. No. And hell no, we're not running super trunks. Even though Andrews has cell sock character, and this is a Andrews has cell sock support character. Um, this guy's just too he's just too risky. Too risky. Too much risk. Um, just too much. So that's about it. Um, so that's all for this Gohan. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I absolutely love you all. Leave a like, subscribe, if you enjoyed the video. Join the 24 7 Discord server. Link is down below in the description for you guys to join today. That is gonna be all. <laughs> Peace.